Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Lava Vision model. So this Lava stands for Large Language and Vision Assistant. And it's a vision model which you can send images to it and it will describe the images in text format. And I'm going to show you how you can install this locally. So you can run it on a Windows machine or on a Linux machine or I think also even on a Mac. And for doing this, um, we will be using LM Studio. If you haven't yet installed LM Studio, there will be a link in the description. So you can check that out after this video on how to install LM Studio. So you can type in here Lava 1.5, or actually it's now under new and node 30. You can see Lava 1.5, the original Lava Vision enabled model supporting image input and textual instruction following. So if you click here, um, there will be a download button here. I already downloaded it. And the download size is 4.45 gigabytes for this Q4 version of it. And it says partial GPU offload possible. On this machine, I have four gigabytes of VRAM. And well, there are larger model sizes as well. If I click here, it will also say partial GPU offload possible. And this will be quite a bit larger it will be also slower because it will require more RAM and it's a more heavy model when it's larger. But let's go ahead and use this Q4 version and press use in new chat. And we can see here it's loading the model and it's using the RAM in the system. And we can also check the task manager to, to see the RAM usage. So we can see from the four gigabytes of VRAM, this RTX 3050 laptop GPU has, it used pretty much all of that. There's also a spike in the RAM usage for the laptop, so it partially used that as well. And so the next step is to, you can either here add image and browse for image, or you can just drag an image here and Let's drag, for example, this image here and ask it to describe the image, please. And it's, it's processing it for a few seconds and it should start uh, outputting the description very soon. The image depicts a large body of water, likely a lake or an ocean with several small buildings and houses or on an island in it. There are three boats visible within the scene, two situations closer to each other, while another one is more distant. In total, there are 12 people enjoying various activities near the shore. Some individuals can be seen walking along the water's edge, while others appear to be simply observing their surroundings or engaging in recreational activities. The atmosphere seems relaxed and serene as both residents and visitors alike take in the natural beauty of the picturesque setting. So if we open this image and look, it was saying three boats and one is more distant from the, the others. So that's correct. Then it was saying something about 12 people and I can see at least two here, but I'm not sure where the rest of them are. Of course, there might be something over there, but it's at this resolution quite hard to make out anything. Let's try a different image. So on this next one, I have a skull. This is, um, I think, from a CT scan from one of my Daikum videos. I downloaded the the Daikum image as a JPEG. I'm asking it to describe that. Okay, so it's saying the image displays a person's skull with two Teeth likely taken in a dentist's office or hospital environment. The skull is prominently featured and appears to be an X-ray of the jaw area around the central subject. There are several other elements that contribute to the scene's atmosphere. Multiple boats 
you know, it's kind of confusing the previous image with with this one. So that's kind of disappointing. But it did kind of okay on the on this recognizing it's a skull. Okay, I'm doing one more prompt and this is from one of my tests with image an image generator. And it's saying the man in the image is wearing a white shirt and has an impressive white beard. He seems to be a distinguished elder, possibly with wisdom to share. The picture captures his his stare as he stares at something off camera. It appears that this photo was taken during a sunny day, which adds warmth to the scene. So, yeah, well, it is illuminated well, but sunny day kind of wouldn't be able to tell that. And, yeah, the man is staring somewhere. So, I think the model does a good job, but we could do a quick comparison to what ChatGPT does nowadays with image recognition. Okay, now we are logged into ChatGPT in a new chat window and let's try the, the last image. And see what ChatGPT has to say. The image depicts an older man with strikingly detailed features. His face is deeply lined with wrinkles, especially around his eyes and forehead, giving him a weathered, wise appearance. He has a long, flowing white beard that covers much of his face and chest, and his hair, also white, is swept back in a slightly unkempt fashion. His eyes are piercing light color, possibly blue or gray, and they hold an intense contempt contemplative case, the overall lighting and sharpness of the image emphasizes the man's age, experience and perhaps a sense of dignity. So yeah, I think kind of similar than what Lama did, but is a lot more detailed. So I, I would kind of say ChatGPT did a better job here. Let's try the, the skull image also. I did the typo there, but I think it will understand the question. The image appears to be an x-ray of a human skull viewed from the front. Frontal view, the skeletal structure of the head is clearly visible, including the large rounded dome of the cranium and the eye sockets orbits. The nasal cavity is also seen as a dark central void. The teeth are visible in the lower jaw an upper jaw with some metal or dental fillings present in the molars which appear to be bright white due to their density. The x-ray provides a detailed view of the bone structures highlighting the contours and density of the skull. Yeah, I'm no expert on analyzing an x-ray image but it definitely is a lot more detailed than what the lava model did. But if you have a use case for some more trivial uh, image recognition, I would think the lava model would do a good job and you can run that locally on any machine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.